back to world three. We're in the snow world. This is snow. Yes. Well, you'll see more snow later. Well, the background makes me think like the apocalypse has happened. My God. I have a question. Yep. Why did she throw the professor? Um, he's a perv man, and she did not like to be touched by perv man. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. What is that? That bag. That it's a bag. Magic bag. That's all I'm going to explain. It's a bag of magic. You'll see what it yeah, does. Yeah, pretty much. You'll see what it does soon. Does it turn into something? No. Just going to say it's a magic bag. I know what it does. I figured it out in my head. What's it do? You need to collect enough, I guess, enough material inside of it to get a bomb. You are correct, sir. Those are kind of like grenades. Grenades. Good. Can you shake a loose like a bomb? I know games. I evidently don't. And here's like a whole bunch of other things. Like you can put in the flowers in the bag. Yeah. Are those the same guess, flowers from the <laughs> desert? <laughs> it's funny as the flowers make the little um throwing star thing. I think if you combine two throwing stars, it makes uh, a boomerang or something it does. like that. Why is this an alchemy bag? Actually, took me a while to figure. What? Actually, took me a while to figure out. That's the one thing that kind of annoys about this game: the way it just introduces mechanics, then completely abandons them for the rest of the game. I don't know. I think they kept the bag for a few other levels. Well, do they return to the guy who transforms into stuff? Did they do that again? Uh, the character itself, yes. The giant mechanical robot thing. Pure the mechanics, yeah. It's got jumps. He can jump high, and he can jump on spikes. Oh, well, that's useful. Yeah, it is. Good thing I'll never see him again. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Not everything's seen once. Yeah, you assume too much. <laughs> Again, never played this game. Person who knows everything about this game. <laughs> I am not the nerd. Chance no. him. Chance, Chance war. The, the hell? Wow, there's. Yeah, he's really hard to get the clip chin from because he pretty much dies right away from all the goddamn explosions. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just killing people at this point. Like killing people. God, this robot's a sociopath. <laughs> By the way, throwing jetpack guys are one of the best weapons in the game. Yeah, it is. Next to throwing small small girls. No, better. <laughs> They're the best throwing item in the game. I oh, I'm boomerang! That. <laughs> what is flying overhead? What is that? Oh, you jetpack guys. <laughs> it's it's, it's funny what happens when I actually throw the boomerang. Shit goes crazy. No, this. Boom. <laughs> It runs out of time and blows up. Yeah, I'm sh I'm showing here that you can catch those guys in air. It's pretty hard. Yeah. Because you keep grabbing the bombs that they drop. I okay, see so you got one. I, I, I'm just showing that you can do that. There's no real point to it. Extra detail. Yeah, it shoots missiles. And you took his missiles. Poor man. So, oh, if you shake it, it shoots little missiles. That pizza can go faster. Yeah. I have a question. Yes, sir. Why are you in a world war? You Be know what? Now explain. <laughs> because Enix. You're just in a, you're just in a war. That's I, it. I think it's uh, first the good and the bad. Um, these guys. Is there I a name? They're uh, clanners. Yeah, clancers or something. Clancers sounds right. Missile surf. So on surf the. the <laughs> gotta surf the missile. What? On, on the chapter menus, the things with the, uh, like, they kind of look like blast doors, or there's, like, bosses? Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I was gonna mention that, but I forgot. <laughs> okay. Precision slow missile time. Okay. Notice the thing in the background? Yes, the big giant, like, uh, cube. Diamond. <laughs> yeah, it's like, the uh, the boon's a gem for some reason. <laughs> yeah. This is very... Interesting. Do they do this again in the game? No. Oh yeah, you can't... If the missile hits anything, you have to go to, back to the beginning. I figured that much. Because it yeah, is a giant... It's just walls, because everything else just passes through it. Because it's a giant explosive. Question. Yes. What relevance do gems have in this world? 
Oh um, currency, definitely, the red ones. Uh, besides that, I don't particularly know. Wait, currency? Mm -hmm. What do you buy in this game? Um, you, that's the first place you could actually buy, you know, tips. Yeah, uh, people yeah. pay for your services and red gems. Okay, yeah. Damn you, lightning. Uh, There's some really thing. weird sounds these guys are making. Yeah. Bomb on missile. That sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> I, I got this ex this live explosive on a missile. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a really good idea if you were wanted to make a really dangerous missile. Bombs on bombs. Gee, I wonder what's up here. Going to the moon. Gold Skull Tower. <laughs> That's clearly a Gold Skull Tower. Uh, yeah. Hey, you, you let the missile go wherever it won't blow up. Why are you not a Skull Tower? Useless to me. Have <laughs> a look at arrow. There's a gold gem up there! That's exactly what the person sounds like. <laughs> That's what the arrow gem said. What the... Why are some of those levels locked? Uh, bosses. Oh. So, yeah. The, the things that look like blast doors are blast levels. Yeah, I got that now. Sorry, I was distracted by the audio. <laughs> There's so much to listen to. I'm kind of distracted by the color right now. <laughs> this game... Really, is just fun. <laughs> it is. There's really nothing like this. I'll tell you that. True that. It, I loved it as a kid. I loved I it still too. Like it. I still do too. I think Stretch Bandic makes a little bit more sense in this game. Never played Stretch Bandic. What though? Yeah, that's an exit. That's a, doesn't that make a lot of sense? Well, no. okay. You no. know what a great adaptation for this robot? Super Jump. I like how a lot of these mechanics that are just introduced have to do with shaking. <laughs> Shake my fists. Do it. Okay, here you go. No, stop it. Now, stop it! Don't Man, touch Jesus me! Jesus Christ, we totally forgot about everything, you know, the information about the game. <laughs> you know, system... Oh, well... Oh. N64, right? Yeah. Right. N64 came out in 1997? No, the game did. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, the N64 came out in 1997. I'm just kidding. I'm it's made by Treasure. It's made by Treasure, produced by Enix. I'm I'm pretty sure that the Nintendo 64 came out in 2008. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you out the window. I have, for your lies. I'm sorry, I haven't checked if this was on the uh, virtual console. Virtual console, yeah. It might be. I don't Man, know. I'm glad I know what you're going to say sometimes. <laughs> That would be like the Nintendo buying place. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to kill that now. This game reminds me of this old game. I don't know if you guys have ever played it. It's called Evolution Worlds. I haven't played it. I heard mm -hmm. about it a long time ago. It's a weird RPG. I'll talk about it another time. This is definitely not an RPG. <laughs> well, yes. No, it isn't. Obviously, because this is not like anything. <laughs> no, I think you're playing the role of a really sociopathic robot. <laughs> no, there's that. Specifically you play genocidal. Exactly how you want to play it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly a genocidal robot. She only kills those things with the face. I can tell you want to play it this way, considering you're getting so many gems by playing that way. True. Did the gems ever add up to anything besides currency? Well, the ending of the game in relation to the gold gems. Uh, yeah. the gold gems. Uh. Yeah, if you do it the other way, that'll fall into the bed. You have to cut your wall strong. Yeah. Guess what this does? Or else. Gold gem. No. It makes yeah. another thing. Three jetpack guys equals one big giant jetpack guy. And you can Fly ride him. It. Yeah. <laughs> Why? See, this is what your robot should have been. Flight. <laughs> what? Intergalactic super awesome bot. This actually seems like cool jetpack flying. Why can't more games have cool jetpack flying? Yeah, I mean, look at that fire. <laughs> the fire doesn't matter. That looks like they're burning so much fuel, my god. Remember him? Hey! Oh Why? Oh wow, that's just like out of nowhere. I sub boss. I'm riding them. <laughs> so how do you beat this? Tough stuff at him. Oh. Yeah, what a surprise. <laughs> I was expecting a lot more from this thing being. How do you beat game. a boss in this game? Shake it or throw it, <laughs> or throw things at it. No, you, no, no, you're not thinking in the wrong logic. You got to use your C4 on it. <laughs> I think you're thinking in the wrong logic. Get out of here. Mm. Yep. Are you holding that thing? Deck of 52. He was the guy in the robot. Yeah. Throw you in many places. 
Boom! That's a really good explosion effect. I'm sorry. Especially that. It's very satisfying. It is. It's a very violent explosion. Escape from trouble. I don't think so. To the next area. Oh, like you blew up trouble. <laughs> what? <laughs> You just always get quiet, Piff. <laughs> no, get fist. What, me? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Now for the easiest mini boss in the game. Chili dog? Yeah. If I get the. Watch what happens after I get the gold gem. It dies. Pretty much, yeah. Spoilers, it well, dies. Watch this. This is I get a hold of one. Oh, by the way, don't grab its back. <laughs> Why? What happens? Because it'll just kick you off. Yeah. yeah, what a jerk. Corner rape. I call hacks. What? Why did the explosion come from the center of the screen? <laughs> the dog was over on the left. That was the nexus of its power. The center of the screen. Fuck! Yeah, you can't get easier than him. Yeah, you can. Well, you can. Well, in this game, you can't. Get easier than him. Press this button to win. Okay. <laughs> in this game, I mean. Press X to Jason. Bye. Bye. Oh, see you, bye.